This season, Instacart has your back-to-school. As in, they've got your back-to-school lunch favorites, like snack packs and fresh fruit. And they've got your back-to-school supplies, like backpacks, binders, and pencils. And they've got your back when your kid casually tells you they have a huge school project due tomorrow. Let's face it, we were all that kid. So first call your parents to say I'm sorry, and then download the Instacart app to get delivery in as fast as 30 minutes all school year long. Get a $0 delivery fee for your first three orders while supplies last. Minimum $10 per order. Additional terms apply. Hello and welcome to the Unwanted Brief. It's April 24th. I'm Kristen Tolman. Today is a short episode rounding up the latest headlines to get you caught up to speed. Let's dive in. Saudi Arabia's aging King Salman entered the hospital for routine examinations Wednesday, the royal court said, in a rare public statement about his health. Iran has reduced its military footprint in Syria after a succession of strikes blamed on Israel, a source close to the Iranian militant group Hezbollah and a war monitor said Wednesday. A high-level North Korean economic delegation embarked on a public visit to Iran this week as the region witnesses mounting tensions amid the Israel-Hamas war. Israel pounded Gaza with airstrikes and artillery fire in its war against Hamas on Wednesday after the U.S. Congress approved $13 billion in military aid. Argentina has asked Interpol to arrest Iran's interior minister over the 1994 bombing of a Jewish community center in Buenos Aires that killed 85 people, the foreign ministry said Tuesday. The Biden administration's point person for humanitarian issues in Gaza, David Satterfield, will leave his post at the end of the week but stay on as a senior advisor. Satterfield will be replaced by Lise Grande, the president and CEO of the Washington-based U.S. Institute of peace. The director of the United Nations Agency for Palestinian Refugees hit back at Israel Tuesday, calling for a Security Council probe into the blatant disregard for UN operations in Gaza after some 180 staffers were killed. Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte will meet with Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan in Istanbul on Friday as he seeks to woo Turkish support to become the next NATO chief. That's all for today. You can read all these stories and more at All Monitor. Dot com.